What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut8610, and today we're opening up the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel, what is this one? Transamaru of Transistence. I knew it was a weird name, and there was no way I was going to memorize that. Anyway, I got this from using Bai, so check out Bai, it's a way to get stuff from Japan like you live there. Makes it much cheaper, like, Rush Duel boxes can be, like, 20 bucks normally or something, and this actually has quite a few booster packs, I think it's, does it say anywhere on here? Uh, 30, yeah, 30 booster packs on that too, so... For 20 bucks, pretty good. And of course, you get main set stuff too. Of course, this is in Japanese. It's Rush Duel. We'll probably never get it in English. That's the that's the bad part. I still wish, like in some form, we could get Rush Duels. Even if maybe we get Asian English, if they make them that way. I mean, we could at least play with them that way. Or uh, I've always thought they ought to just release a bunch of the cards in like, um, like a board game box. And there you go. It's like a pool of cards. You pick the cards from it and make your decks and play. You know, I think that would be fun because I've actually enjoyed Rush Duels on Duel Links lately. I've played a, a ton of that, actually, even the competitive. So anyway, though, I want to open this up because it has a new Black Skull Dragon as an overrush. Basically a full art. I mean, that's what that is. It's the closest thing we had to full arts in Yu-Gi-Oh, which I still do not understand why we don't have full arts. I, I really want that to happen. And uh, there's a lot of other stuff too. Like, I think even like the graceful dice uh, that uh, Joey has, has like a monster form in this. I want to say Jinzo, I think has like his own archetype, like more of an archetype. It, it's a mix of a lot of stuff really. So I want to see what we can get. Mainly though, I like to try to go for those over rushes and to see older cards like redone and there's like your little card divider and i guess field center thing if you want to use it token i don't know anyway let's get to it and be sure to like and subscribe and again check out by link in the description you get that 1000 yen if you use my code helps you out a lot that's kind of a cool little fusion yeah there you go there's like the what was it yeah, it was graceful dice and i can't remember the other one uh well this card is called dice demon but let me know down in the comments if you guys remember because it's been a while since I've seen that one. I know that's the one that hurts your opponent. And there's like Jinzo Returner, I believe. And some other fusion. I, I'm not going to know the uh, the Rush Duel monsters. Like that are exclusive to Rush Duel. Because I don't watch the show. So I'm, just, I'm not going to know those, okay? <laughs> so I will not be naming them. I think this is actually another Jinzo. It's like 7.7. .7, so it's kind of interesting. And yeah, Snipe Hunter is actually now in Rush Tools. I think that could be kind of scary. I remember Snipe Hunter was actually a really good card back in the day. It still has a good effect. It's just the game's changed so much, you know. That's why we don't really see it anymore. And I guess there's a bit of luck with it, too. We have so many things where you don't have to rely on luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, a baby catapult turtle. That is the best thing I've seen all year. I'm sorry, but that's worth it. That's worth liking Rush Tools right there. It's adorable. I love it. Another, like, dice card. Oh, and we got an Ultra Rare. I don't know the name of this guy or anything, unfortunately. He kind of looks like um, like a cubic monster in the background, but I, I don't think it is, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it is cool looking. Like, the whole card's holographic, too, which I feel like they're they're putting a lot of effort into this to not be over here in English. Just saying. It annoys me. I would buy them. Yeah, and there's even Graceful Dice, like, a grown-up version or whatever. It has, like, two dice. Which is cool. I like how they're actually an archetype. You know, I never thought Graceful Dice and all that would be their own thing. Oh, we got something shiny. Yeah, there's Graceful Dice, the original like that. And I think this is like an evil version of Seven's Magician. Because Seven's Magician is uh, the previous Rush Duel, like, main character's main monster. His Dark Magician, basically. So, yeah. I want to say that's an evil version. Which I think the the last main character is in this new season too, but I, I don't know a ton about it because again I don't watch it, so because I, I just don't know. Oh, there's a an upgraded version of him too. That's neat. And she looks like a uh what was it, like a life twin or something. She's probably not, again, you know, you don't see that, but it just that's what it looks like. And Oh, there you go. We got Jinzo with that laser beams. Yeah, you get actually Jinzo on that. That's the, the upgraded one like we got from, uh, what was it? That legendary duelist pack, basically. So, pretty cool to see. I love his eye lasers. So, yeah, that's like the upgraded Jinzo or whatever, I believe. Because it's not the legend. 
There's our dice again. Got something. Oh, a seeker ear. Looks like some kind of treasure map. Kind of cool. Again, the card stock and everything, like, the holographic looks good. It's kind of like with speed duels, even. Like, I feel like the holographic is better than regular Yu-Gi-Oh! It's kind of weird. Also, I think this is, like, a new amplifier, basically. And, yeah, even, what is this one? Goldenfish or something? I know this was part of Fish OTK back in the day. So, yeah, it's actually an older monster. I want to say it was in Light of, Dest Light of Destruction or Phantom Nightmare. Or, what was it? Phantom Darkness, excuse me, not Nightmare, because that's, <laughs> Phantom Nightmare is the new set. Phantom Darkness, I've been doing that a lot, where I, re yeah, I reverse those names, so. And, oh, well, you got waifus. <laughs> Why not? I don't know anything about this card either, but, hey, there you go. Whatever gets into the game, maybe it's a really good card, I have no idea. Wish I could read Japanese. And... Oh, a bunch of different fusions. Looks like it's like a lyrical fusion or something. That's what it reminds me of. You can kind of tell like some of these archetypes take inspiration from mainline Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes. So, Is that like part of the dice? I think so. It kind of looks like Soldier of Landstar to me. Another Jinzo card, which that's pretty cool artwork. And we got the cover card. Okay. Not bad. Seeker Air. Super shiny. Like I like that quite a bit. Not bad at all. I like that. But we don't have an overrush yet. I believe you're guaranteed one. I, that's normally how it goes these days. So we'll see. I hope I get the Black Skull Dragon. I think it's really expensive and tough to get. But that's the goal. There's that like treasure map again. Let's see if it works out for us. I'm still trying to get Gaia from that other one. I got like a stapler T-Rex. I don't know. His head's like a stapler, I think. <laughs> I think that's an archetype that's been around for a little bit for Rush Duels, like made out of Tinker Toys or something. Oh, Celtic Guardian! Yeah, there's actually a new Effect Monster Celtic Guardian. I think, I don't think it's just like Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, is it? Uh, no, it is Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Okay. Well, there you go. Either way, I, I like that upgrade on the art. I really like Celtic Guardian. I'm kind of surprised we don't have a new one yet. I guess he kind of had like a Noble Knight sort of one, the Noble, but... I'd like it if he actually just worked with one of the archetypes that we already have. Like, maybe make him go with the Legacy of Destruction Yugi cards. Make a Celtic Guardian. And, like, Guardian of the Fortress. Wing Guardian of the Fortress or something. And, uh, there's so many. Silver Fang. <laughs> there's so many I would like to see. Gaia even be part of that. And our, our Catapult Turtle. Gotta have that. <laughs> I still like the baby one quite a bit. Snipe Hunter. I think that's gonna be... Pretty good for their meta. I'll remove the knife, too. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, this cool-looking fusion. No idea his name, but he is cool. And another guy, actually. Guy the Dragon Champion. Oh, that's cool-looking. I like that pose. Give me that artwork on a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card, then. That's why I say at least give me these artworks. That would at least make it a little better. Oh, like a pot of greed dice. That's interesting. Maybe it's like more luck based. Maybe like cup of ace or something. No, I guess that's a coin, but still. Then we have another dice. I think the dog's about to bark. There we go. And uh, let me get him real quick. All right, next up. Yeah, I think we had the mailman or something come up. So dog doesn't like the mailman, obviously. <laughs> Don't know this one, but it kind of reminds me of like a, a Karibo kind of looking creature maybe they have it you know it has its own monster card i have no idea i don't remember seeing one what's he got Ooh, there's jenzo with the amplifier on that's pretty cool looking i love those artworks dang bring these over to me that's why i like collecting the rush dual sets at least you get some of these really cool artworks especially seeing older monsters i i enjoy that quite a bit here's some kind of like I don't know. It, it looks like it's the same, I, I assume female, I don't know, uh, as like the cover card. So maybe they go together? Not sure. And then this is like one of the, it's like a mirror force polymerization because that's like one of the little dudes from polymerization. That's kind of interesting. I would put like the effects and stuff on screen, but since it's Rush Dolls, we, we can't play that. So I feel like I'm wasting time. 
And it would take a while, because everything's new, technically. I got this little knight dude. Reminds me of, uh, what, Meta Knight from Kirby? Okay, here we go. We got the overrush. Let's see. Come on, give me a good one, please. And... Huh, that's actually really cool looking. Okay, it's not my Black Skull Dragon, but that's really cool. He's like a demon vampire dude. That's why I was trying to figure out what it was. I was like, <laughs> like my reaction's like, okay, what is this? <laughs> I feel like, you know? Uh, yeah, not bad. It, it looks cool. I'll give it that at least. And again, it's like a full art. So you see the wings coming out of the card and everything. I like the way it looks. I mean, yeah, I'd prefer Black Skull Dragon, but... Hey, at least it's a cool looking card. It's not something, you know, that's like really, I don't know, random. So I do like that. I figured the hunt wouldn't go that easy anyway. It's <laughs> never that easy. And we got one of the, like, the can cards. I know we've seen some of these in the past where they have like the little can and dash and all that. I don't know how you pronounce them, but yeah. I think it's like computer code or something sort of thing going on. And, ah, <laughs> D-Spell. Wow. The original MST. The original, I can negate your spell card, but you really can't. But people thought so. <laughs> I remember those playground fights. Got like another dice looking card. This is just the dungeon dice thing too, right? Alright, last pack. Can we end with the hollow, I guess? Let's see. And, ah, unfortunately not. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with my box. Again, these boxes are fairly cheap. I, I still want to get the Black Skull. I'm sure we'll try to go for that again. But when you're guaranteed an overrush, that makes me feel a lot better. That's what I like about even OCG boxes. It, I know that's rare, but I'm keeping it with this. <laughs> that's what I like about OCG boxes. You're at least guaranteed a lot of stuff. Like, even with the regular Yu-Gi-Oh! ones, you get an ultimate rare. You know, so... That helps. I, I wish that would come over for us too. But let me know what you guys think about this set. I think it's pretty fun. And just Rush Duels in general. Do you want to see more of that content? Let me know. Because I like them. I like opening them up. But I know some people really don't like it when I open them up either. So let me know. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.